Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 1.4 part 2 today. And 1.4 part 2 is comparing and ordering integers. You got 20 points on your class worksheet. 17 points will go into your notebook guide, have that out. Name, date, period, students, due date for onlineers, home schoolers. And let's go right into page 1 of 1.4 part 2. Opposites, and this goes in your notebook, opposites. Two numbers are opposites if they have the same absolute value but different signs. For example, negative 10 and 10 are opposites. The expression negative, uh, negative 10 can be read as the opposite of 10 or as negative 10. The expression negative A is read as the opposite of A. So define now, students, in your own words, positive integers an absolute value. Define these in your notebook, and I do notebook checks usually on Friday, so I expect to see these definitions there. And then opposites, uh, uh, define opposites in your own words, students. Define opposites. And then let's go into page four, and then well, this will be an example number three, finding opposites. So state the opposite of a number. What's the opposite of six? So um, six, six, here's six over here, positive six, and then negative six with still six units from the origin, so that would be the opposite of six would be negative six. The opposite of six would be negative six. Okay, everybody have that? Okay, moving on to finding opposites again state the opposite of negative 15. so what's the opposite of negative 15? negative 15 is 15 units to the left of the origin or zero so the opposite would be to the right of the origin would be 15 units which would be positive 15 that would be the uh, opposite of negative 15. so the opposite of negative 15 would be 15. Okay, so let's go into a guide to practice here. State the absolute value and the opposite of the number. So absolute value and then the opposite of negative 11. Same thing down here, students, this is yours. What's the absolute value of negative 1? And then what's the opposite of negative 1? So to show you how to do this, we're going to up here now. So state the opposite value and the opposite of the number. So what's the absolute value of negative 11? So the distance between negative 11 and 0 is 11. So the absolute value of negative 11 would be 11. The opposite of negative 11 would be positive 11. So there's your absolute value and opposite of negative 11. <clears throat> OK, example four, evaluating variable expressions. Evaluate the expression when y equals negative 5. So we have here negative y. So evaluate this expression when y equals negative 5. So negative y would be the negative of negative 5. Substitute negative 5 for y. And so what's the negative of a negative? It would be positive 5. The opposite of negative 5 would be 5. So a negative sign is another way of saying the opposite of. So the opposite of negative 5 would just be positive 5. And let's see, let's try another one here. Evaluate. So evaluate, evaluate the expression y equals negative 5. So 17 minus the absolute value of y. So how will we evaluate that? Our setup here would be 17 minus absolute value y equals 17 minus the absolute value of negative 5. So 17 minus, and then we have uh, the uh, minus the absolute value of negative 5 would, would just be 5, would it not? It would be. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So 17 minus 5 would be 12. So that would be how you would evaluate this. OK, our guided practice up here. Evaluate the expression when x equals negative 4. So when we plug in our x or negative 4 here for x, we would have the absolute value of negative 4 minus 1, right? Up here, down here, students, I'm going to let you do that one on your own. Let's do this one in practice. So 
Evaluate the expression when x equals negative 4. So absolute value of negative 4 minus 1. So when x equals negative 4, and then the absolute value minus 1 will be the absolute value of negative 4 minus 1 would be 4, which the absolute value of negative 4 would be 4 minus 1 would be 3. So that would be the evaluation of this expression here when x equals negative 4. And that is your 1.4 part 2 classwork lesson pre-algebra math, animated PowerPoint math video at AOL.com for questions or course materials. Thank you very much.